Hello everybody and welcome to going over the behind the scenes or well, teasers we've been getting uh, for RS3 and this is going to be starting early next year actually. Uh, we will be starting in, I believe it's January 9th, we have not only Frank's uh, chess thing going on, but we also have the new disk system, which is coming with an event with uh, Raptor. Uh, so that is going to be looking pretty sweet. And what the event is, <laughs> I'm not going to leave you hanging there. Uh, the event that will be taking place is that there's going to be a multiplier, uh, multiplier in place for either a selected boss or something like that. It, there was a little bit of a subject to change with this. Uh, but for your assignment, or Reaper assignment, I should say. Uh, so, and I believe it's one boss per day that this is going to take an effect with. Now, whether that changes or not, you know, I honestly can't say. But that is what, you know, I had last heard. So hopefully it sticks to that, because that's going to be pretty cool. Uh, we won't be getting... Um, there's a free death along with it. Maybe they will. Uh, actually, I don't think they will. Uh, I was gonna say I don't. Th I don't know if they would or not. But thinking about it, if they want people to, you know, try out bossing, obviously, and see about the new death system and how it's going to be working, um, they're going to want people to be bossing and have the risk of dying, because the risk of dying is actually greatly changing. Um, and then also, you know, we have stuff dealing with. Um, you know, the GE tax, that's all going to be going in right together. So that's going to be coming early in the year. I'm kind of curious to see, because like I said, they want to, they're trying this thing with Raptor. It's just an event for now, but they might be doing something more with it, depending upon how it goes. Just like how the Frank's free death system was going. Um... So, when it comes down to it, who knows, maybe this will be a returning event. It may or may not. But the uh, the Frank's Pirate Chest thing, that is just a one-off, at least for now. <clears throat> but again, that is actually another thing that is just a uh, test to see what players think of it and how it affects the economy. Uh, that's another reason why they're testing out the thing with Raptor instead of just making it a for sure thing. Uh, they might end up making it a you know a weekly thing uh but who knows we there's still too many unknown variables that we don't personally know yet um but we also got a sneak peek into the fort four and three so that is going to be also the new quest line that is coming soon well yeah i don't know if it's a quest line per se but it's the new uh, theme, much like the Legacy of Zamorak was the one we just got through. Uh, so, they said, unlike this one, uh, well, unlike the last one where you kind of keep building up, uh, they're going to be starting us with something. So, I'm thinking they're going to start us out with the fort, and then we get to build up the fort, and we get to the quest, because King rolled. Uh, there is going to be a quest later on with that, which is going to be a murder mystery. Think Sinclair Mansion and how that went, except it's going to be more of a murder mystery. Uh, so there is going to that's going to be pretty cool. But the fort is going to be even better yet because one thing the uh, well some of the stuff that they were talking about with the fort is the fact that they're going to be doing it in a sense where um, you'll be able to. Build your fort, um, but not only build your fort, you have to maintain your fort, and you have to do other things along with your fort. You can't just like build, set it and forget it kind of thing like the third miscellanea. Uh, because there's going to be events where you have to go and defend your uh, fort. Um, what that all entails, I have no clue yet. They, they didn't get much, a whole lot of information on it, but it does look and sound pretty epic if you ask me so we have that going on uh we do have oh and the fort is going to have all sorts of passive perks as well as um 
you know, stuff you can go and do there because it's going to be a way to train prayer and agility. So I'm assuming that means that some of the uh, buildings can get damaged from these invasions uh, from because you're building it out in the wilderness. And I don't know if there's going to be different locations, have different threats, or if there is, even is going to be different locations. Um, but that's all something that is yet to be actually discussed. But it sounded pretty cool. Uh, I know we kind of already knew there's a fort. Like, see, some of this is like stuff. The reason why I was even questioning making in a video about this because some of it we don't know a whole lot about it yet. Uh, but there is some information that they supplied in the live stream. Uh, that we didn't know and I'm very excited to see the final build of this because keep in mind all of this is subject to change certain things don't even have like a set approximation of when it's going to start the only two that we do have an approximation to start is the Raptor and the Frank thing or the Frank's pirate chest thing which is going to be starting January 9th uh, so that's going to be pretty cool and then the fort is supposed to be starting sometime in February. And I'm I'm really excited for the fort. I'm not going to lie. But then the other stuff we don't know. But that all kind of ties together with, you know, we have the quest. So they're just not saying exactly when the quest will come. Because it probably depends on multiple factors. Um, but that's the fort of fort 4 and 3. That basically is what's going to be tying in with the new skilling training methods, the new events, etc., etc. Basically, that event is most of what the teasers were all about, is the Fort 4 and 3. The only thing that Fort 4 and 3 didn't discuss, and they did not discuss much of this, is the new skill. And the newest skill is Necromancy. Which is something that really, really surprised me. And I'll explain why it surprised me. It wasn't something that was like overly well hidden. It's just for me personally, they're like constantly throughout the Legacy of Zamorak the quest series and the mini quests. They were discussing, oh yeah, um, necromancy. What about that? You know, oh hey, necromancy. Oh hey, necromancy. Like, it was constantly out of getting brought up. So I was just like, you know what? They've done stuff like this before. It's not necromancy. It's got to be something else. And sure enough, it actually is necromancy. They do plan on having necromancy come into the game. I'm happy about it. I thought for sure it was going to... I 100% thought for sure it was going to be something else completely. Um, I definitely wasn't expecting it. Like I said, I'm happy about it. I just, it's not what I was expecting. So that is going to be the new skill that is coming is necromancy, which. So now here's where the information I actually started getting kind of from it. Now, keep in mind, all this information is theoretical. None of it's actually set in stone. And that is just the fact that, okay, so. Uh, I've been trying to get some information on Twitter and I've been discussing stuff with other people and occasionally I have gotten some information uh, whether directly or indirectly from the different J mods or X J mods in some cases uh, where there's actually lore tied into it so we're not just going to be dropped necromancy with no lore behind it um, so there is going to be stuff either pertaining to leading into the skill or something along those lines. There has been no confirmation whether this is an elite or regular skill. I am going to say this is probably more than likely an elite skill. Uh, because just because of the, how heavy this skill is going to be, I feel like this is the next successor of summoning um, and magic and potentially prayer. Uh, it might actually have some ties into rune crafting. I'm not sure. Uh, because one thing that, and this is even from the quest, is you started exploring, you know, doing the different quests, the succession, you know, legacy Zamrock stuff. You started finding out information about that there's magics within the realm of Gilinor 
that don't require runes to, runes to use magic. And that's where necromancy is. So, but also during the quest, they use the life altar, well, yeah, soul altar, soul runes, you know, to be able to enhance, if you will. So it's going to be very interesting. I, I've got a feeling that there's going to be some runes tied to things, and then there's going to be some uh, stuff that's, has nothing to do with runes so i'm thinking abilities as well as um some spells or and or summons type deals uh where i get a feeling like the constructing stuff is going to probably take blood death soul you know that kind of stuff uh whereas like the quote unquote spells part of it is going to be more abilities so I am expecting abilities to be making a presence in this as well. And I was actually, you know, talking to some other people who were, you know, talking about the skill. And a lot of people were saying the same thing. They're really hoping that necromancy does not become, you know, a rinse and repeat skill. You know, the traditional, oh, hey, you know, you go, you find the remains of some creature, you take it. You resurrect it, you spend the runes to get it resurrected, and then you have to go and constantly do this kind of stuff. So I got a feeling that there's going to be more tied to it because uh, after actually talking to not only these people, I, this is where I have had some mods actually interacting with our discussions and liking certain parts of the conversation. So this is all hypothetical. Hypothetical? I don't know. Uh, this is all just guessing, basically, at this point. And the guess is basically going to be that it's not going to work like, you know, traditional necromancy. Um, of, you know, just being focused around, you know, raising the dead and just being focused around, um, you know, the traditional type stuff. Uh, so there's going to be a bit more uh, going on with this. Uh, that's why I'm thinking for sure that there's going to be a mixture of uh, abilities and regular necromancy. So there's going to be, it's going to be very interesting. And I'm thinking that the reason why it's going to be kind of like that is because if we have it where necromancy has its own abilities, that means it might be possible that some of these abilities can be used within melee and range as well. Which is where the it kind of breaks away from traditional necromancy, where it's traditionally you know magic. So, <clears throat> with that all being said, um, a lot of the mods were even saying too, don't expect this to be like normal. So I'm expecting it to not be like normal necromancy. Just a heads up. Uh, whether you guys feel that way or not, you know, I, I, I honestly couldn't really tell you. Uh, but that is, that's where I'm leaning, uh, as you know, personally myself. So let me know what you guys think. And these are the skills. Now, necromancy doesn't have a date. Um, as far as when it's going to be ready and as far as when it's coming. Um, personally, it is not going to be coming before the fort. I think it's going to be tied into the fort 403. So I think it's going to be here probably, and this is probably, shortly before the summer is when it's going to be hitting. So it's going to be hitting probably around May. Uh, I'm saying this because if we have Raptor in January, which is only good until the end of that month, I believe, and then the fort is starting to take place in February, that leaves us with March, April, and May of all fort stuff. And I don't think it's all going to be just fort stuff. I think we're going to have a couple months of the fort, and then we're going to be getting into necromancy. So keep that in mind, guys. Necromancy is just around the corner. Um, what it's all going to entail, I don't know. 
I don't know if we should be saving bones. I don't know if we should be saving runes. Personally, I'm going to have to say save your runes. Um, try to save your life runes, especially with soul runes. Probably try to save some blood and some death runes. Uh, I feel like those are going to be three pivotal things. Worst comes to, if you don't save any, well, if you save the whole bunch and you don't need them for anything, by all means, you have a bunch of runes that you can either use or uh, use for invention or just use for magic in general. I don't recommend going out and buying all these items, but I would say it would be a good idea to hold on to at least stuff that you gain. Um, as far as bones go, I'm going to say bones probably are not going to be impacted by this. Uh, they might be impacted by the Fort 4 and 3 because they say about a way to train prayer. Um, however, I don't know if this is really going to have the kind of impact that I'm even thinking it'll have. So, it's something to kind of keep in mind. There's just a lot of these updates coming. Um, and a lot of monster drops, you know, coming in a couple of days are going to be kind of a big deal, you know, starting in January, where we can get a lot of, uh, boss drops. Because one, one thing they did say, they're trying to alleviate the pressure of boss drops and trying to make them a little less scarce to help. I'm thinking they're probably thinking if there's more influx of things coming into the game, it's going to offset that the fact that some of these items are so overpriced. So some of the items will drop in price because there's obviously more supply, which will bring in, you know, more supply, meaning demand a bit more. Prices start to drop a little bit. I think that's their goal. But that'll do it for this, guys. Well, this video, guys, let me know what you guys think about everything. Personally, I'm very excited for this coming year with RuneScape. I think it's going to be a great year. I'm expecting Necromancy sometime May, June. I, I think that's going to be our big highlight for this summer. Uh, so thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, later, guys.